At first glance, Salesforce admins and Salesforce developers may appear to be two very different roles. There are plenty of obvious differences between them. Declarative versus programmatic, for example. But there are also some important overlaps that newcomers may not be aware of. I'm Christine Marshall, and joining me today is Andrew Cook, our technical instructor, and together, we're going to explain the differences between a Salesforce admin and a Salesforce developer. Don't forget to subscribe for more Salesforce content just like this. What is a Salesforce admin? Let's break it down so it's easy to understand. A Salesforce administrator works with stakeholders to define system requirements and customize the Salesforce platform. They enable users to get the most out of the technology by tailoring features and solutions to each specific org. Salesforce admins work on a declarative basis with clicks, not code. They typically configure core platform functionality for maximum return on investment. So they're a really valued part of any business in any industry. What does a Salesforce developer do? According to Trailhead, a Salesforce developer uses programmatic and declarative skills to extend and customize applications on the Lightning platform. To put it simply, developers design and implement applications and features on the Salesforce platform. What would you expect to do day to day as a developer? Your responsibilities will mainly include extending the Salesforce platform with code when it cannot be done declaratively. However, developers are encouraged to use clicks, not code where appropriate which helps with easier maintenance in future. There is also some overlap in the tools admins and developers use. For example, both roles will use Flow Builder for automation, and both may make use of a DevOps solution to push changes through their sandboxes into production. Let's get more specific. Let's talk about the key skills of a Salesforce admin. These might include user and data management, security and access management, process automation, mapping business processes, user training, reports, dashboards. If you want to find out more, check out the 14 skills of a successful Salesforce admin on the Salesforce Ben blog. You'll find the link in the video description. What about the key skills of a Salesforce developer? Well, a developer's job is a very design and UX orientated role. It involves having skills in coding languages such as Apex, JavaScript, HTML, and Visual Force. Having a good understanding of the application lifecycle as well as development environments and deployment is also necessary. Hold up, what about admin elipers? If you've not heard the term admin elipa yet, don't worry, there is no need to fret. Admin elipa simply refers to a hybrid of an admin and a developer a mashup of both roles, if you will. These days, many admins will have some degree of developer knowledge and vice versa. Salesforce professionals are known for their love of continuous learning and professional development. So what sort of career paths are available to you as an admin or a developer? The sky is pretty much the limit in terms of where you can go with your Salesforce career. A Salesforce admin might become a business analyst, a functional consultant, or a CRM product owner. Admins can also pursue a career as a Salesforce architect. Similarly, there are plenty of opportunities for developers who may become a solution architect, a technical architect, or a technical consultant. Check out the Salesforce Ben Guide to Salesforce Roles and Responsibilities. By now, you probably have a better idea of the role that would suit you best. But how do you get there? Certifications play an important part in getting that dream job as it shows employers how advanced your skill set is. Some of the certifications you can achieve are Certified Administrator Certified Advanced Administrator Certified Platform App Builder Certified Platform Developer 1 and Certified Platform Developer 2. As with most roles, there are varying levels of nuance at play, depending on the size and nature of the organization. You may have a whole host of developers working on independent projects, or perhaps you're a solo admin wearing several hats at once. Either way, we hope this infographic has provided some clarity when it comes to defining the roles of admin and developer. Still curious? We've got plenty more resources for you on the Salesforce Ben blog. Find all the links in the video description. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to stay up to date with the latest from Salesforce Ben.